another episode of 205 Live and NXT. And whew, wow, 205 Live, I would say, was crazy at the end, like always, with the street fight. Mm -hmm. Um, NXT, probably, I would say, that was really good. Probably the end, too. Yeah, it was all pretty much tonight was, was main intense. Events. Maybe the main events. Yeah, they were all intense. Yeah. So, um, we'll start off at uh, 205 Live. We have Hideo Tommy coming out with Arya Davari. And, of course, they're talking a little bit, saying how they want title shots. And then, Drake Maverick comes out. Piss hound. <laughs> of course. And, saying something about. What did he say? I don't even remember what he said. What did he say? About earning it or something? No, he was gonna expel them or something. Oh, yeah. Um. But anyway, before. And then after that, Noam Dar came out and he's saying, No way. I got this. I got this. Yeah. And he knew it ended up being the match Hideo Tommy versus Noam Dar. But and that, that was a good match. Um. I don't really care for either of them, so, but, um, Dale Tommy won, he did, like, some kind of, like, twist, like, he, like, twist, and, like, end up, like, being a cold breaker for the win. Yeah. Pretty much what that, what that was, so. Then there was, like, this little backstage thing with Buddy Murphy and Drake Maverick. Buddy was just saying that he's the best champ, he needs a challenge, um, he, 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 meaning he wants a challenge means he wants to be the one to, like, tell, so the people could say that he is the champ, not keep hearing that he's not a champ. He wants to, to fight, have a challenge, so to prove that he is a champ. That he's worth it. Yeah. So, and then Drake's like, all right, next week you'll get your challenge. And then, of course, next match we see is Shrimp Hello Rush versus a local no talent, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. It was just a random local talent, really. And he was, like, talking. He's like, you know what I like to do? I like to talk, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, yeah, he's like, man of the hour. And he's like, um, what do you see? He's like, oh, yeah, that's right. He was saying that he's a busy man and then just a cheap shot right to the local talent. Just beating him yeah. up and doing moves on him. And then he did his move in one. Yeah, he looked like he was wearing a white tidy whitey. There you go. There's his diaper. Die! The thing he's diaper. missing is his pacifier. Yay. That was hot. Um, then there was just this little thing with Cedric Alexander. He was just saying that. He was talking about Buddy Murphy. He's like, enjoy that title. Cruiserweight's still hit. 205 Live is still his show, his division. And that's gonna, that's kind of his title. So he will get that title. Pretty much what he was saying. Pretty much, really. Um, Then you got the main event. Drew Gulak and Jack Gallagher. <sighs> First, Brian Kendrick and Akira Tawaza in a street fight. Now, Brian Kendrick, I noticed he shaved his beard and dyed his hair. Yeah, you can see it. It was like, whoa. When definitely. He, yeah. Definitely. You could tell he's, he, yeah. He definitely changed. So, yeah. But that match wow. was an intense match. It Garbage was awesome. cans and mop. Mop, mop buckets. <laughs> from the audience. Put it on his head and it's like pitting him with a mop. Like, wow. Like, wow. Table, too. There was a couple of times with the table. Yeah. Um, but at the end, um, who did the flip? Who did the flip? Akira did it, right? I think so. No! Kendrick did it. He did a flip on the top rope, slammed to Jack, and before that, Akira did a suicide dive to Gulak. And Gulak had the trash can while he did it. And then, yeah. uh, Kia 
Brian Kendrick did the flip to uh, on top row to check out her one. Yeah. So they won. That, that, that was pretty interesting. That was. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We see a little bit, but we didn't see him on it. So he yeah. did like an interview or whatever that was. That's why I'm like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Because <laughs> that's what's coming up next. It's NXT. <laughs> yeah. But 205, wow. Yeah. That was really intense. Like, okay. Now we got NXT. 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 Woo. Yeah. Um, start off with Io Sorari and her partner Dakota Kai first um, Shayna Baszler's girls, which was Jessamine, Jessamine, and Marina. I'm telling you, they look like a lesbian couple. They were actually hugging at first, and then the one smacked the other girl's butt. <laughs> like, really? That, uh, well, I don't know. That might be, all three of them might be together, you know what I mean? Yeah, you never know. Threesome? Yeah. <laughs> but that was a really good match. But you know that Io, Io and Dakota was going to win because, yeah. Even though Jessamine and Marina said they're ready, ha ha, laughing, like, oh yeah, we got this. Yeah, you lost. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, Io Sorari did a top rope for the win. Mm hmm. So, ha. But they're not done. They're gonna probably end up being a six woman tag with those those three and those three. Watch. But I think the next match is a new guy coming out. Yeah, because I didn't recognize him. I think him. he's a new guy because they were they were showing a promo thing with him. So I think he's a new guy in NXT. Because I think that's because what's happening is some of the NXT members and 205 members are starting to go on to Raw and all that, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, if all of them are going to Raw and SmackDown, you gotta get more NXT guys. Yeah. So this next guy's name is Dominic versus Mac. Yeah, it's it look. He didn't. He just looks like a random dude. It just looks like from another local town, really. Yeah. But um, he, you of course Dominic's gonna win because he's that. He's a new guy, so they always have new guys win. So he just pretty much did some on the shoulder. And to the knee thing. Yeah, and kicked won. him and all that. Very much, really. That was that. It was really quick, though. Yeah. It was like, I would say, 35 minutes match. Yeah. Or lesser than that. It was quick. Yeah. So. Well, let's see how he pans out in the near future. Yeah, you don't know. He might be a good guy. People might like him. Yeah. Let's give him a chance. And then they got... Heavy Machinery, one of the tag teams that are going to be going to Raw or SmackDown. First, a random local talent. Wow. I, I literally, the one looked like cousin, our cousin Jay. Yeah. One looked like our cousin Brandon. You put them in a match together. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> so, but and anyway. Like, so, yeah, because he's like... <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway... Double, okay, okay. Well, the match is good, of course. Her machinery taking them down, like, freaking cool. Like literally snapping them. They're like, that's like two picks. Yeah. They did like a double clink. Like one had the one guy had the one, and one guy and they clinked to each other, to, and then the one guy's taking the one guy to corner, back and forth, back and forth to the corner, and then slam them, and then. Also, the one he tried to go on the top. And then, and then the one guy's looking at the ramp. Well, they both are, because Undisputed Error was at the top of the ramp looking. And, um, let's see. Then got this guy, um, let me see, was that that one tag, like, he, the one tag team of the heavy machine, he, like, ran to the rope and, like, pushed his body and then slam, pretty yeah. much. He's like, do you want this? And then... To them? Yeah. And then they slammed and then picked the one guy, threw him in the arms, slammed him. Yeah. Um, and then they pretty much, like, slammed them together, lift both of them up, did that same move, like I just said, run to the rope and hit him and boom. Yep. Double. And won that. They won. And then they were just slowly staring down, just be there, because I guess... 
I think they got a title shot against them. Which they might not they might win, but I don't know. If they're going in WWE soon, they might not win. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. I have no idea. Anything could happen. Yeah. And then you have your main, main event. event. Alistair Black versus Gargano. Oh yeah, I see the promo. Do you know how you have the two pictures of them together before the match starts? Well, he looked like he had a Venom thing. Like first yeah. was Punisher, now it's like Venom. So he's definitely... Uh... He's definitely a Marvel fan. Oh yeah. What's up? But that was still Cage match. That match was really, really going tried, at it. Yeah, like, he tried like to... Like too much to like explain. Yeah, tried to escape a few times on the over the top. Yeah, and... they both were both on the top. Hitting each other, going back in the ring. One trying to get out the gauge door. Yeah, the um, Gargano's on like almost out of the cage on the top. Black's trying to get out of the um cage door. Chompa hit the door on Black, putting him back in, and then he went in the cage. Then he hit on Black. He's attacking him. You think um Gargano would just win, get the win, just get out of the cage? No, he goes back in the cage. Stares at um Champa. Belt maker. Love maker. Yeah. Stares at him. And then they both like are looking and then they're getting ready and they do a double kick on black. Yeah. And, and then they both like stare down at each other. And then Champa leaves, shuts the door, and then just walks and um Gargana just pins and wins pretty much. Yeah. That was how it was. Um, I mean, I would say for tonight, um, it was, it was intense. It was intense. It was good. Always, it's always intense on the main events. Always. Yeah. So, um, what did you guys think of 205 Live? Did you like 205? What was your favorite match? Do you, what was your favorite match in NXT? Are you excited for any some NXT superstars going to the main roster? Like, yeah, like, are you excited to see Nikki Cross finally getting over there? And yeah, you, oh. you gotta, she, you gotta think she's definitely going to smack down with insanity. Yeah, kind of like when the AJ Lee was there, how crazy she was. So maybe it's about time they added another crazy one on there. Yeah. Remember, you got a crazy male, Dean Andros. Ayo, got a crazy female. Yeah. And then you got the war machine. The machines. war machines. I don't know what they'll be on. Man, if, if they go on Raw, they'll be teaming up with Braun Strowman. Now, that would be yeah, awesome. That would be a big old group. Oh, Braun yeah. Braun Strowman, they give him the big title. Head machinery, get the tag team titles. That would be interesting. That would be cool. Yeah, and it would be awesome if they take down, uh, apparently, I guess, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are supposed to be coming back. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming coming back. I, goddamn. I'd love to see them take them down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're coming back as a team or they're doing their separate thing. I don't know. Because well, it's funny, they're both coming back together, so. If they come back and they're both partners on if the war people are on there, take them down, machinery, take them down. Yeah. Put him in the to that way. Braun Strowman can put him back in the toilet, and you two can ram it. <laughs> yeah, see. So let us know. We want to hear. Like, we want to hear what you thought of NXT Two Hundred Five Live. Did you like it? Should it be a little better, or what? Yeah. Or do you want to see something new on there? Do you think it's good that they're doing this change up, or yeah? Are they finally listening to the fans now? Yeah, are they? Is it them to us? Well, that because they're saying that the ratings were down, right? So now... Well, pretty much roll is down, but... Yeah, so what are they trying to do? Spice it up a little. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let us know. We want to hear from you. So, yeah. Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And yeah. we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.